इसने किस किस कॉलेज में फॉर्म भरा था एडमिशन के लिए किस किस में हो गया अपना एच एच आर में कोर्स के मेरे को ये नहीं पता कि किस किस में आ गया लेकिन आप सारे कॉलेज में आए तो आगे मेरे ख्याल से Education is a sector which can never be static. It has to be dynamic and it has to grow. It is such a, a such an industry, if you call it. It has to grow, and there is uh, nothing wrong in it. And we must grow. And uh, if you feel, uh, if I, if I say that uh, India is 65 years old, and it is not a long time compared to other developed countries, what we are and what we were. Our institutions have already operated here for some time. Uh, they have partner uh, partnerships with Indian institutions and offer many programs. Right. Well, um, uh, we've had a long history in Tamil Nadu. We've had uh, many relationships with Tamil Nadu institutions, so we would want to sustain those. There's a natural affinity between uh, the Punjab and Canada. Most Canadian immigrants from India come from the Punjab. But Kerala is exciting. It's opening the big event here. The president of India here, the prime minister of India. Uh, we've been energized by our experience here, and I think this is another opportunity area for us. Our uh, project is to bring all educational projects, uh, medical and non-medical, under one umbrella. Uh, we have medical college and engineering colleges, management courses, nursing college and uh, uh, schools starting from kindergarten. It is, we are, uh, uh, it, it will cost uh, total project eight, uh, eight billion. See uh, that we have uh, 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 knowledge exchange program. Our children can go outside, outside India, and we have we are planning to attract uh, students from Gulf, like Saudi Arabia and other other Gulf countries, to bring those uh, uh, students to India, develop a good higher high class education facility for them, and to uh, bring uh, foreign currency to Kerala through this education.